This here is the only mechanical keyboard that I've ever owned, and it was really cheap. I bought it with some freelance design gig money many years ago, and it worked okay for like five years, until I finally accepted in my heart that this is what peak keyboard design looks like. But when I moved apartments years later, I found it again in a box of my old tech junk, and did feel a little sentimental about it. And later that day when I was building some Lego birds for whatever reason, I noticed that Lego bricks are almost the exact same size as keycaps. So you know what I do here, I made a mechanical keyboard out of Lego and then didn't post the video for an entire year and that's because Melgeek beat me to it and in the end I put off this video for so long because I didn't think the idea was as original anymore that now KBD Craft also have their Lego mechanical keyboard so it kind of just became a set piece in the background of all my videos for the past year but now that I've been making videos for an entire year I've gotten so many comments about it that I've finally given in. This is how I made a Lego mechanical keyboard and how you can too. Okay, there's a few things that you'll need for this. Lego bricks, an existing mechanical keyboard, and also a 3D printer. And the 3D printer will be used for printing these tiny adapters that I designed. And I made sure that they're simple to print, don't need any support material, and to easily slot into the bottom of a Lego brick. But first, you'll need to grab some pliers because we need to gut the insides of a heap of Lego bricks. I found that squishing the inner tube and then just twisting it out works really well for this. Then the adapter should just slide right on in. And of course, I've designed larger adapters for larger keycaps. Removing the plastic from the larger bricks is a bit more difficult, but just use some diagonal plies to cut the plastic and then your normal plies to just pull that plastic out. And the dome in the bottom of my adapters, as well as the notches around the outside, were designed like this so that they don't interfere with the mangled plastic that might be left behind on the insides. And of course, all my designs are completely free to download, and I've put the links below if you want to check them out. Also, Lego bricks are expensive, I get it. That's why a lot of this keyboard isn't made of authentic Lego bricks. It's mostly made of compatible with major brands construction blocks, uh, just because it's way cheaper. I don't judge, so my adapters work with whatever brand regardless, no worries. And now that you've made one of these keycaps, you just need to make a ton more. And it took me about an hour and a really painful hand cramp to pull all the plastic out, but it was worth it to see it all come together. At this stage, I also recommend super gluing the bricks and the adapters together, just so that they don't come apart later. For the spacebar, I connected a heap of pieces together because I didn't own a piece long enough. And then after this, you can put them onto your keyboard one by one, and congrats, you've got the first part of a Lego mechanical keyboard. All the other pieces are either three or four studs long, and this meant that I had to design a few variations of the adapter with the stem offset just a tiny bit each time so that they'd fit my keyboard properly. The next stage of this build is the case, and I started with two of these base plates and then cut them to size. To make the cuts as precise as possible, I built up some Lego pieces and then cut alongside them. And after making a shallow cut, if you line it up on a bench and distribute some weight across it, it should snap really neatly. Now, I made my case way wider than it needed to be, and that's because I wanted some extra space where I could build on the sides of the keyboard. Of course, if you're following along at home, do it however you want to do it. I promise you, I don't mind. I also found this brick with Made in China printed on it. I guess I thought it was funny, I don't know why. So of course, I put it on the front of the keyboard where everyone can see it. But when I put the keyboard into the case, I quickly realized that the whole thing just looked a bit ugly. There was just way too much going on with all the colors for my liking. Oh, and I also added this big red circle to the escape button, and I made the Windows logo using these colored pieces off camera. Uh, anyway, I went for a walk to the Lego store and paid $17 for this small cup of bricks, which included these white tile pieces that I found, and I used them to cover the top of the keyboard case. I ended up really liking this look. It's almost like a picture frame, plus you still get the color on the sides of the case, which I really liked. I also experimented with making the top of the keyboard taller and using these slope pieces to build up to it, but again, it just looked a bit too cluttered, so I got rid of it. The next issue that I had to solve were these massive gaps on either side and on top of the keyboard. I tried a few different things by trying to overlap the Lego pieces to hide them, but I couldn't get that working with the pieces that I own, so instead I just designed and 3D printed my own custom Lego pieces for this. I planned on these pieces being black to sort of blend in, but I ran out of filament so I just made them white instead. And after putting all four of these pieces in, I thought I was done, until I remembered I need to build a hole for the USB cable, which I think is important. So I disassembled the keyboard for what was probably the fourth time at this point, just so that I can add this little hole for the cable. Of course, this now meant that my custom pieces didn't fit, but I fixed that up after a few attempts. 
And now that it's finally done, I plugged it in and it was completely dead. I thought I must have killed the keyboard at some point in the past year, but luckily it was just a dead cable so I got it working and managed a remarkable 48 words per minute, for those of you who care. For reference, my normal speed is around 80 words per minute. I just really wasn't used to the LEGO keyboard at this stage. So to help with my typing speed, I designed these letters for the keycaps out of these small tile pieces. But in the end, I didn't end up going with this design either. They just didn't match the vibe that I was going for with this keyboard. What I'm trying to say is that they weren't fun enough, but what I found was fun was building a heap of random junk onto the keyboard and trying the typing speed test again. So, I have a heap of small Lego parts, right? Like this Minecraft set, a Bowser, a little penguin, and some chooks. So I thought I'd put them all onto their corresponding keys. Like this I piece became the I, P for pig, C for the crafting table, and B for this big Bowser. And I quickly ran out of pieces this way, but I found I also had this unopened bag of random pieces. I don't know what on earth the theme for this set was because they were all very strange pieces. Anyway, I got this pig out of it, but P was taken. So the best I could do in the end was this dome piece for D. Uh, this was a lot harder than I thought it would be, but I did manage to find this tiny frog for F, but I quickly gave up after that and decided to build this Minecraft set into the side of the keyboard instead. And here's the final keyboard. I added a heap more random things off camera as well, just so that I could make it as silly as possible. Now, this is an anti-ergonomic mess, I know, so leave a comment below with how many words per minute you think I got. The answer was an astounding 8 words per minute. Anyway, here's some more final shots of the keyboard. There are still a few things that need fixing, like the shift and enter keys keep getting stuck, and I also need to 3D print another custom brick piece to nicely fit around the cable hole. But to really finish this keyboard, I need your help. I don't know enough about LEGO, so please let me know in the comments which LEGO bricks should go where. Like this TNT tile that I found could be for T, or this Minecraft B could be for B. I don't care how good it works in the end, I just need it to be as silly as possible. So keep an eye on my YouTube shorts or my TikTok, because that's where I'll be making the final fixes, plus taking your suggestions and making them happen. Cheers.